Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today, episode 176 of this series and we have um, one system to view today from the user Lost70244. So without further ado, let's get into their system. Okay, so it should be on the workshop tab here, got it in here. Uh, come on game, right there we go. So it's called the uh, Solaris system, so I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, let's um, see what we have got here. Okay, so the Solaris system, with a planet getting somewhat torn apart by the host star called Mercury, <laughs> to a super Earth called Genesis and an Earth like planet called um, Dacius, I hope I'm saying that right, and its moon uh, Pluto, yeah, and several other leading up to gas giant a bit bigger than Jupiter called um, Venerus, along with a smaller Saturn like um, Cosian called Saturnalia, oh my god, and uh, soon after an ice giant called Jula. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we can see a lot of the names are obviously a take on our own solar systems, planet names, but it seems like a pretty short and simple system. So, right, okay, here we go. So, obviously, that's actually the star itself. We really like to check out the star. So that is definitely a complete um, copy of the sun there. We can see its stats. Yeah, that is literally just a renamed sun. Okay, so we've got the sun stats. So, obviously, that's going to be having um, the normal sort of sun kind of design here. Okay, cool. Right, so onto the uh, first world here, so we can see this is the Mercury equivalent, but unlike um, our version of Mercury in reality, this one is kind of having a hard time. So is it closer to the Sun than Mercury normally would be? I mean, I can't really tell from there. I, I don't know. Let's have a look here. Uh, 0 0.55 AU. No, no, Mercury, if we put that in days, for instance, Mercury's orbit's eight, about 88 days. So yeah, this is actually more in the Venus sort of orbit, but either way, it's still not having a good time. In that part of the system, so that's um, that's um, pretty interesting. We'll have to definitely click play and see how it works, so why not? So let's speed it up a bit. You can see it's losing material, so it looks like it does actually lose that temperature after a while. So we can see uh, it's losing material still, but it's not looking good. Um, so we'll keep that running. Next up, we've got this one over here. So this is um, Dacius. Okay, so actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reopen this just so I can get the description back up, just so we can uh go through it all one by one because um, that's what I usually like to do. Okay, so there we go. So do that again. Okay, so here it is. So the host star to a super Earth called Genesis. So the Earth-like planet is Dacius here. So here we go. So what have we got uh, going on here? So if we look at the planet itself, so you can see uh, 73 in temperature. Okay, a little warmer, smaller than Earth in size and radius. If we look underneath, we can see it's very, very ocean heavy. It's obviously got a few islands um, on it as well, but yeah, mostly oceans. It looks like it's also tilted on its side. That's definitely one of the poles there we're looking at. If we um, use the edit mode, uh, click it, uh, edit. You can see yeah, the pole, the blue area there. So this this planet is tilted on its side in a uh, weird rotation. So there it is. It looks to be rotating fairly slowly as well. It takes uh, 11, so it's almost one year of orbit. Um, what's this rotational period? So it takes 1.08 days, okay. Not too shabby. And then it also has a moon over here which looks like a blue version of Pluto, which does look really cool, actually. So a blue moon around that Earth-like world over there. Okay, cool. So there is the Earth-like world. That's Stasius. Okay. Right, so next up, we have got... There's an object called Kepler here. I don't think this one was noted in the... Um, I don't see any object called Kepler. So here it is. So we can see um, green and blues in colours. No atmosphere, no oceans. So it's mainly just a, um, a fancy-coloured rocky world. So there it is there. Looking good. Okay, cool. So there's Kepler. Right, next up we have got Genesis over here. So this is the super Earth. So it's 199 degrees, so it's pretty warm. Here it is. So it's got oceans as well. It appears to be an all ocean world, I want to say. So let's have a look underneath. Yep, so it's a full, full on ocean world. Okay. So there we go. Cool. Right, uh, how, how's uh, poor old uh, the Mercury one in here doing? Yeah, it's still losing material. Okay. Right, so next up we have got, so Venerus. So this is the Jupiter equivalent in here. So here it is. Zooming in. So it's got a mixture of bands. We've got a green and more purpley maroon shade and a dark green and a gray in the south. So there it is. So yeah, one, one Jupiter. And then if we look at radius, it actually is a little smaller than radius than Jupiter actually. So there it is. So there we go. Okay, so next up we have got uh, the Saturn one. Okay. So it's also got a nice set of uh, rings around it as well. Hey, cool, cool. So it's actually just, uh, there you go. So what do you think of that? 
Pretty, uh, pretty nice looking gas giant, honestly. Nice, simple, sweet. Just got a pale shade of purple. Got a few uh, white bands in there as well. So, looking good. Nice and simple. So, we've got that one there. And then next up, we have got Juna at the uh, end of the system. So, this is the ice giant. Looks like it has more bands than the previous two. But it's also just got a nice mix of uh, blues and greys in there. It's quite a nice looking design, actually. I like it. I rate it. So, yeah, looking good. Okay, so now we can close the description there. Awesome stuff indeed. So we had a few extra planets that weren't noted down on there, but I believe that is the whole system. Yeah, that looks to be it. So what we'll do is as well, I just want to uh, control delete, just so we can have the system run a little faster. I want to see um, how the planets end up if you run them for a while. So there we go. Let's just let things go out. So it looks like the Mercury planet, it looks like that one eventually does cool down. So I kind of want to see how everything sort of plays out in a uh, in the long run. So... This one actually calms down a bit, and you can actually see, instead of losing material now, it's actually quite a nice uh, planet, around 140 degrees. So it looks like it must have a Venus sort of atmosphere going on it to get that sort of temperature. So let's have a look. 242 atm, so you can see yeah, very, very um, high atmosphere pressure on this, and I wonder it was really hot at the, at the start, but yeah, it has now cooled down. So that's what it looks like if we look underneath the atmosphere and clouds. So let's have a little, uh, little peek. So it appears to be very, very dark. I think, is that an ocean? Oh, no way, it has an ocean as well. Hey, nice. It has an ocean. Right, cool. So we've got that one, uh, next planet out. So how's this one doing? So this was the Earth-like world originally. So this one's sitting at a very nice 20 degrees now. So let's have a look at its stats. So it's got some good stats, 96 and 72 there. Cool. What does the first one have? I'm guessing 72, yeah, and then not too good on the uh, life. Uh, next planet out, we have Kepler. Obviously, this one didn't even have an atmosphere, so no life on there. And then what about the Super Earth? I oh, know that wasn't the Super Earth. Uh, we're looking for Genesis, aren't we? So that's this one. This one appears to have frozen over. Okay. So it's all frozen up. Minus 31. So this has kind of taken the Mars role. Okay. Next up, we have yeah, this one here. So that was the Jupiter planet. So that's in there. Then we had, obviously, the Saturn and then the... Um, last ice giant at the end so one thing on the try is if we run it long enough will any of the orbits get affected let's have just a little experiment there so you can see oh we can see some of the orbits are in there maybe maybe they'll eventually break apart who knows let's uh let's just try and go as fast as possible here so that's the fastest limit but i'm pretty sure some of those orbits were wobbling you can see the kepler and the genesis orbits so they're the third and fourth planets so it looks like those two are getting a little close for comfort in some of the uh this, uh, I'm surprised the gas giants haven't aren't having too much of a uh, impact. But who knows? Maybe if you ran it long enough, it would uh, eventually break. But you can see it's mostly uh, comfortable for the uh, time being. Maybe the gas giants hold the uh, inner planets in place. Who knows? But yeah, there we go. So that does it for the Solaris system. So a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Lost Seven O Two Four Four, for sending a simulation in. Also, if you'd like to send in your own simulations for this series. Make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description. Then you can upload your systems in the upload chat there. But with that all said and done, guys, a massive thank you for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe for more. Help us in a journey to, I guess it's 30,000 subscribers now. So a huge thank you again for 20,000. And yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.